Upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. The Great One can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. You should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Go bother Jason, Smoothskin. I don't like having you around. Good riddance. Sorry, we don't talk to outsiders. Talk to Jason if you have business here. I don't speak with outsiders. Smooth skin especially. Talk to our leader, Jason Bright. Not now, smooth skin. I don't speak with outsiders, smooth skins especially. Talk to our leader, Jason Wright. Return to me, Wanderer. We need your help. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, 
especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realize that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. The means by which the Great Journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. 
Name's Highland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. Kinda busy running for my life here, smooth skin. Later. Antler says you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says you must die. Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement, to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you, always. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them, but the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yes. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. I'm the Phlox resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice, then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Bald. You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! Oh, God. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no. How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke. What, you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me, and now they'll throw me away. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. 
Are you ready to get started? Those rockets aren't going to launch themselves. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. All right. What would you rather be doing? All right. Carry on. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Later. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Ha! <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. Pleasure doing business with you. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe Reinforcement Project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Hey, have you found the components we discussed? Indeed you did, and they seem to be in excellent condition. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. It is almost time for the great journey. Later. The rockets are ready, Jason. The great journey can begin. Good luck, I guess. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible 
if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Hope that helps. I owed you. Yeah, see ya.